When I first started exploring the world of high-frequency trading HFT, from home, I quickly realized that every microsecond counts. The faster a strategy can analyze data and execute trades, the higher the potential for profit. While institutional players have access to cutting-edge infrastructure and co-location services, I discovered that with the right combination of hardware, software, and tuning, even a home-based setup can come surprisingly close, at least enough to start experimenting seriously. It all begins with the computer hardware. In high-frequency trading, a fast CPU is absolutely crucial. I learned that single-thread performance matters more than sheer core count, especially for tasks like order routing and market data processing. That's why many professionals still overclock their CPUs, to squeeze out every bit of performance. On a budget, something like an Intel Core i5 or AMD Ryzen 5 with 4-6 cores running at around 3.5 GHz is a solid starting point. But those with more to invest typically go for Intel Xeon or AMD EPYC processors, often with 16-32 to 32 cores and turbo frequencies above 4 GHz. Some even push those chips further with aggressive cooling and overclocking. RAM is the next important factor. For a basic setup, 16 to 32 gigabytes of fast DDR4 memory usually does the trick. Higher-end setups, though, often use 64 to 256 gigabytes of DDR4 or DDR5 RAM, and they usually go with ECC memory for added reliability. When it comes to storage, a 500 gigabytes or 1 terabyte NVMe SSD is more than enough for storing software, logs, and cached data. Professionals tend to use multi-terabyte NVMe drives, sometimes in RAID configurations for redundancy and faster throughput. Then there's networking, which can be a hidden bottleneck if you're not careful. I quickly learned that Wi-Fi is a no-go for HFT, latency and jitter are too unpredictable. A basic rig should at least use a 1 or 10 gigabit Ethernet card. But in higher-end configurations, traders use 10, 25, or even 100 GBE cards from specialized vendors like SolarFlare, Cisco, or Mellanox. These cards are built specifically for ultra-low latency applications, and they support features like kernel bypass to communicate directly with user space software, skipping the operating system's network stack altogether. Speaking of operating systems, Linux is the go-to platform for serious HFT. Not just any Linux, though, real-time or low-latency kernel variants are preferred. These versions ensure that critical processes receive CPU time with minimal delay. For my own setup, I started with Ubuntu and installed a low-latency kernel. I also disabled background services, turned off CPU frequency scaling, and set the governor to performance mode. Professionals go even further, disabling hyperthreading, tweaking BIOS settings, and binding specific threads to individual cores using tools like TaskSet or NumacL. This level of control is essential when you're shaving off microseconds. Software tools also play a massive role. To reduce network latency even further, some traders use libraries like DPDK or PF underscore ring. These allow direct communication with the network card in user space, bypassing the Linux kernel's networking stack entirely. It's complex to set up, but once running, the improvement in message handling speed is dramatic. Others opt for SolarFlare's Open on Load or Mellanox's VMA libraries, both designed to streamline socket communication for trading applications. It's not unusual to see microsecond-level latencies when everything is properly tuned. And then there's order routing and execution. Most institutional and advanced retail traders use the FIX protocol, a messaging standard that supports fast, reliable communication with brokers and exchanges. I personally experimented with QuickFix, a widely used open-source FIX engine that works with most major brokers. FIX8 is another option, known for its speed in encoding and decoding messages. In general, using a compiled language like C++ or Java for your FIX engine yields better performance than scripting languages. On the platform side, I tried a variety of tools. QuantConnect's Lean Engine stood out for its flexibility, allowing me to write strategies in C Sharp or Python and connect to multiple brokers. Other traders I spoke to recommended MetaTrader 4 or 5, especially for Forex. 
Platforms like NinjaTrader and TradeStation also offer automation capabilities, although they use proprietary scripting languages. For more professional-grade setups, people often bypass platforms altogether and connect directly via APIs or fixed gateways. Interactive Brokers, for instance, offers a Java-based API that works well with custom HFT systems. In the crypto space, tools like FrecTrade, Zenbot, and CryptoHopper are gaining popularity, although they're generally less focused on true low-latency trading. As I dug deeper, I started to understand the wide gap between budget-conscious home setups and full-blown professional systems. A basic home rig, costing around $1,000 to $2,000, might include a mid-range desktop CPU, 16 to 32 gigabytes of RAM, a single NVMe SSD, and a standard Ethernet card. It can be enough to run strategies, analyze market data, and even trade at moderate speeds through a retail broker's API. In contrast, a professional HFT system, often costing upwards of $10,000, features a high-end server CPU with 16 or more cores running at turbo speeds over 4 GHz, at least 64 GB of ECC memory, and several terabytes of ultra-fast storage in RAID. It includes top-tier smart NICs capable of bypassing the OS kernel entirely and connects directly to exchange data centers via fiber. These machines run real-time Linux distributions and often deploy custom-built trading engines written in C++ or Rust, sometimes even with FPGA county processors for parsing network packets at line speed. Ultimately, building a high-frequency trading setup at home is a balancing act between cost, complexity, and capability. While you may not match the co-located servers of major hedge funds, it is absolutely possible to construct a lean, well-tuned machine that allows you to prototype and run serious automated strategies with meaningful performance. The key lies in understanding where latency comes from, and doing everything you can to eliminate it.